Welcome back to Flick Favorites. I'm going to explain an action, comedy, thriller film from 2023, titled Operation Fortune, Ruse de Guerre. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy the content. In Odessa, Ukraine, some thieves steal firearms from transporters to start the movie. Additionally, they murder scientists and steal highly advanced AI weaponry. The government office receives a summons for an agent called Nathan. Knighton tasks Nathan with finding the AI weapon that was removed two days earlier when he arrives. The mission is first rejected by Nathan. However, he agrees to carry out this task after Knighton issues a warning that the weapon might be harmful to the globe if it gets into the wrong hands. Orson, a great spy, is the person Nathan proposes to command his soldiers on this expedition. Knighton first turns it down since the fee is so exorbitant. Instead, he suggests that Nathan hire John's services. Nathan claims John is presently employed by Mike, his rival. Given no other choice, Knighton ultimately agrees, and Nathan departs for Africa to see the still-recovering Orson. Orson firmly refuses Nathan's offer because he is still recovering, notwithstanding Nathan's justification. He agrees when Nathan explains the money is fairly big and the connection between the mission and global security. They then drive to Madrid to start the operation, where they find Sarah and Davies waiting for them. Sarah is a great hacker, while Davies is an all-around great sharpshooter. To help Orson in this expedition, they are both employed. Later, they travel to the airport in order to rob Deliverman Donald of his hard drive. Additionally, they split up the tasks, Orson Davies, Jane, and Marsha supervise Donald's actions while Sarah controls the squad through microphone while hacking the camera in the office. Because other teams are also interested in the hard drive, things are not as straightforward as they first appear. Without Sarah noticing, they render Marsha and Jane helpless. Later, she finds out that other hackers are tampering with the cameras. When Orson learns this, he realizes that John and rival Mike are to blame. Sarah, who successfully breaks into the system, immediately alerts Orson that he will be attacked by two persons from behind. After beating them, he swiftly leaves to find Donald. There is a battle since Mike's men had already advanced before them. When they succeed, Nathan shows up to take them up. Donald had a heart attack while driving, and at the same time, several automobiles are pursuing them and detouring to steal the hard drive. Donald confesses a crucial secret just as Martin is ready to kill him. He is compelled to do so since his wife is a prisoner. The individual who will purchase this hard drive has yet to see his face. So, pretending to be Donald, Donald invites Nathan to meet the customer at the Duchess in Madrid. Soon later, the elderly man begs them to save his wife before passing away. Since Mike's team is pressuring them to unlock the automobile door from the outside, they are also racing against time. Mike unlocks the automobile door and takes a copy of the hard disk after the data has been replicated. They shouldn't worry, Sarah explains, because it is worthless without a password. Nathan's only choice is to pose as Donald in order to find out who bought the hard drive. He meets with the buyer after doing so. Sarah learns that one of them is Ben Harris, a lawyer for Greg Simmons, a mafia leader who runs an illegal armaments business, after recognizing his face on a hidden camera. Upon seeing this, Simmons, one of the top guns traffickers in the world, is highly nimble, and Orson becomes discouraged and doubts his abilities to catch him. Sarah has the brilliant idea to take advantage of Simmons' fondness for orphans and her passion with artist Danny Francisco. They promptly travel back to America to pick up Danny Francisco while posing as Danny's new agent. Orson and Danny can have private conversations. There, he asks Danny for help traveling to France to attend a Simmons-hosted charity event. At first, Danny fiercely objects, but when Orson plays a video of Danny and his sister-in-law, he is stunned. He chooses to follow Orson's instructions since he doesn't want the video to damage his reputation. They instantly go on a boat as a group of three. As soon as Orson and Sarah join the cruise liner where the incident is occurring, 
they advise Danny to divert Simmons so they may collect as much information as they can. Simmons rushes up to Danny as soon as he spots him and begs to talk with him. The plan's creators, Orson and Sarah, just so happen to run across Mike's crew at the airport. They are aware that Mike is also seeking information at this location. They then disperse, with Orson following behind and coolly beating Mike's men while Sarah sets up a microphone in one of the rooms. When Ben Harris comes upon Sarah, she utilizes her acting prowess to deceive him and buy Orson some time. Later, she goes to meet Danny on the terrace after checking on Orson. Simmons extends an invitation to Danny and Sarah to see his home in Turkey because he wants to flaunt his wealth and way of life. Soon after his business partners come, they want to take a picture with Danny while Simon begs Sarah in a low voice to be his mistress and offers to give her a sizable piece of his wealth. When Orson shows up, he requests that everyone leave. We now turn our attention to Nathan and Davies, who are overhearing Simmons' conversation with his business partner. The communication reveals that the AI weapon will be sold for $10 billion, and more importantly, Simmons is only serving as a middleman because the identity of the original bidder has not been made public. They conduct a meeting the next morning and try to figure out who might buy the AI weapon. Because he has no other choice, Orson ultimately decides to break into Simmons' partner's home to gather the buyer's details. Later that night, with the help of Sarah, who has hacked the CCTV, he does this using anesthetic gas and distributes it over the room. After everyone has fallen asleep, he enters the bedroom, opens the safe, and copies all of the data according to Sarah's instructions. When he's done, he grabs all of their cash and jewelry to make them believe it was a theft. He is stopped by two alert guards as he prepares to exit the building, but he quickly fools them. In the morning, they reunite to discuss the findings of the previous night's research. They search it, but they can't find the item Simmons wants to sell. Simmons and someone named Kasim are soon overheard by them. There, Kasim asks Simmons if their co-worker Alexander had been robbed the previous night by an unidentified guy. The investigation found that the culprit beat two of Alex's personal bodyguards with ease while acting alone. Orson, whose identity is unknown, seems unfazed by this. Kasim's current location and identity are discovered by Sarah, who is still accessing their data. He turns out to be a member of the Turkish government. Additionally, they now know that Simmons and Kasim will meet secretly in three days. In order to find out what they would do, Nathan gives Sarah and Danny the order to accept Simmons' invitation to his villa in Turkey. When they arrive in Turkey, Simmons and his bodyguards give them a hearty welcome. Simmons, not wanting to waste any time, immediately showcases his whole collection of vintage automobiles before giving Danny one of them and taking him for a spin. After being abandoned in the estate, Sarah quickly executes her plan to access Simmons' computer. She turns around to access the CCTV above, which Simmons' assistant Amelia can see in real time. Returning to Orson and Davies, they are observing Kasim's movements. Mike is also keeping an eye on Kasim, which surprises Orson, who then chooses to secretly pursue Ben Harris. Sarah starts looking for information on Simmons' computer, discovers it, and tells Nathan that Simmons only purchased the AK-47 used in the initial robbery. When Nathan learns that, he is incensed since Simmons is not the buyer of the AI weapon they are looking for, thus they have the wrong man. They are suspecting the wrong person, so he urges Orson to come back. But Orson decides to keep following Ben covertly since he is sure Simmons is involved. Ben, who is aware of the circumstance, informs Simmons right away. Naturally, Davies tells Orson that Ben is already aware because he tapped Ben's phone. Ben asks Simmons to send in reinforcements. As soon as Orson learns of this, he ambushes Ben's guard and promptly dispatches him. Ben makes an attempt to escape detection by stealing a motorbike. Davies helps Orson find a shortcut as he chases the man. Ben has a plan to fool Orson into believing that someone else is present. He poses like someone he wants to be photographed and stealthily slips his phone into their pocket. 
Orson is confused when he cannot find Ben despite the fact that the location is accurate. Then, he looks down and notices the body of the previous person Ben shoved lying below. Ben attempts to push Orson as well after being taken off guard by him. Fortunately, his fast reactions allow him to avoid Ben. When they go to the main office, Knighton tells them the information sent by Sarah from Simmons' computer is real and correct. It's no joke that the AI weapon has the capacity to conduct a nuclear attack if they decide to carry out a hard drive transaction to activate it. Orson chooses to pose as Ben because the person who will purchase the hard drive has never seen him, and he is dead. He phones Sarah for help in altering his voice so that it sounds more like Ben later. Once all the arrangements are in order, Orson meets the hard drive customer right away. Simmons, who doesn't know Ben died, seems normal and takes a break to call Ben to help with the sale. Following them from behind, Davies immediately dives to the ground to snipe Orson. The buyer's name is Sergey, we learn. Not wanting to lose time, the buyer unlocks the hard drive's cover and asks Orson to input the 15-digit passcode to unlock it. Orson gets the code by asking Sarah for assistance. Simmond has been deceived successfully. At that time, his guards realized someone was listening in on their conversation. They succeed in entering Simmons' codes, and a $10 million transaction is accomplished. One of Alex's guys, nevertheless, realizes that Orson was the one who had robbed Alex of his home a few nights before. A bloody gunfight occurs as Davies decides to attack them first. Danny flees there with Sarah, who has also cancelled the transaction. Going back to Orson, one of the helicopters is mindlessly pursuing him. They are Mike's guys, it is revealed as the men corner him. Mike and his men, who were able to capture Sergei, brutally murdered them and took the AI weaponry. Mike gave the order for his troops to kill Orson. Davies follows them first, nevertheless, in order to keep Orson safe. When Simmons realizes Sarah is the hacker, he immediately orders his security to find Sarah and Danny. She topples one of Simon's security vehicles. They have no choice but to dash back to Orson and Davies, who are using a helicopter to try and save Sarah. Orson immediately chases Sarah after spotting her in the tunnel and fires missiles at their foe. After discovering from the authorities that Mike is not employed by any government, Nathan concludes that he is engaged in nefarious planning. Upon hearing this, Orson has the wonderful idea of using all of the evidence of Simmons' wrongdoing and enlisting his help. At first, the team is dubious, but Orson convinces them, and they head back to Simmons' base. Simmons is soon approached by Orson with a suggestion to help them recover the weapons. Simmons first rejects the offer, but after being pushed by Danny, agrees to help. After that, he tells Mike to whom he would sell AI weaponry. Sarah and Davies take action on the opposite side in the interim. Using a drone, Sarah interferes with the guard's ability to communicate as Orson and Davies render them all helpless. When they go to the room, they find that Mike had sold the weapon to Trent and Arnold at the previous charity event. It turns out that Trent and Arnold are Simmons' business partners, and that they purchased the weapon in order to destabilize the global currency and spread chaos and anarchy. Orson and Davies murder every one of Mike's soldiers covertly while Simmons diverts their attention. Mike tries to strike from behind as Orson prepares to flee with the AI weapon. Orson, though, quickly defeats him. After that, Sarah and Davies pick up Orson. They go for Qatar the following morning to give Nathan the AI weapon. Given that the job was successful, Nathan gives them a new task with much greater pay. Orson, however, declines, saying that they should take a trip to refresh their minds. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay updated on future videos. Leave a like to support the channel.